Today I'm trying to get in the ballpark of Jimmy Page's electric guitar sounds on Led Zeppelin albums. I'm not going to play these songs note for note, nor am I going to try to replicate the sound of certain albums. What I'll be doing is an amalgamation of what I've heard on studio albums, live albums and bootlegs. You might think, what's the point of this? I have been inspired by Jimmy Page's sound on Led Zeppelin and for years I've been chasing those sounds that I've heard on countless recordings. But in the end, I'm not trying to copy someone, not in sound nor on playing. We are all inspired by the sounds that we've heard from other people and that can inspire us to try certain things, be it amps, pedals, guitars or a combination of these. And with that we make our own sounds. Today I'm trying to reverse engineer this process, relying purely on air and memory. And with my current gear, I want to see how close I can get to the sounds that inspired me. Let's go! For the first album, I kept it pretty simple. My Telecaster and Tone Banner were at the base of everything. On the album, Page has quite a bit of plate reverb, so I added that with my Strymon Flint. I used my Silver Archer to shave off some of the edges and the Bella Epoch for the delay. The amp I used for everything was the Dr. Z Mass 18. You might be wondering why I didn't use my little Supro amp for the stuff of the first album, since Page used a Supro on the recordings. Well, believe me, I tried, but I couldn't get the right sound out of it. And on we go, the second album's up next.
I started off with the Mass 18 again to get a bit closer to Jimmy Page's Vox sound that he had in the studio for this album, as well as the high watt sound that he used live for a while. Once again with the aid of my tone bender and this time my Epiphone Les Paul custom, which is a bit similar to Jimmy Page's Black Beauty. Later on I switched to my Gibson Les Paul with my Marshall for the live sound that he had a bit later. To get the roomy vibe on the Lemon song, I used my way huge Aquapus with my Tone Mender for Grit. The Tone Mender was also on for a bit of coloring during the solo of Whole Lotta Love, with of course a cocked wah. The Strymon Flint was there for plate reverb again, but a bit more subtle than on the first album stuff. There are less electric sounds on the third album, but let's go there anyway. <laughs> This time it's all Les Paul and Marshall, just adding a Telecaster for a nice little filling here and there. Only the flint for reverb again and for a bit of tremolo on Immigrant Song. And that's all for part 1. Next week I will upload the second video which will cover the next 3 albums. So make sure you hit subscribe and I'll see you next time.